So right now I'm here at the hospital and I'll explain more about this later. But first, you guys got to check out this view. Superman is a hero, but only when his mind is clear though. He needs that fix like the rest of us, so he's got no fear when he saves that bus. All the stars in the Hollywood Hills, Snapchat live when they pop them pills. All those flavors of the rainbow. And horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Alright, so this video is uh, not in focus. No, that's not what I was going to say. So this vlog is very, very important to me. I plan on making a video once a week, every single week. And I know, I missed a week. And there's a reason for that. It's a reason that is far more important than this vlog will ever be. And it was something I had to do for myself. I, uh, I know you guys see me drinking Coors Light and advocate, advocating Coors Light and drinking Coors Lattes and CL Smooth during the day and whatnot and whatever. And yeah, okay, that's one thing. But like a lot of alcoholics, we're really, really good at hiding things. And every single night, I'd kill just about a fifth of vodka. And my vice was Smirnoff. The red kind. And uh, yeah, so I would crush one of those and I've been doing that for a long time, a few years now, and there weren't too many consequences, really. I mean, every once in a while, you know, something funny would happen or whatever, but n nothing really major, no big deals, really. The biggest deal was recently when my girlfriend left me, and yeah, that sucked. That really fucking sucked, but Still, that was brushed offable. I can move forward from that. But just other things, I started to get, you know, I started to get panic attacks. Like, in panic attacks, I did some research that related to withdrawing from drinking. So if I drink all night long, just guzzling vodka, you know, during the next day, I my body's like, hey, give me more vodka, bro. Keep bringing it. And I only drink at night. I'm kind of a binge drinker, so... Yeah, I started getting these panic attacks, and sometimes they would happen while I'm driving. I will just be chilling, just cruising, and all of a sudden I'd be stuck in traffic. And I would be like, oh my god. Like, oh my god, what am I going to do? I'm stuck. I can't go anywhere. Like, my hands would start locking up. And then I would get, like, locked jaw. And I would get, like, this really intense, intense, like, pressure in my chest. I felt like I was having a heart attack. Like... I literally thought I was gonna die. And this happened three times in one month and I decided there's something that I gotta do about this. This is, this is just not a thing. So I checked myself into a medical detox and you know, they did their medical detox things and I had a little hospital bed and you know, you got nurses coming in every couple hours going, oh, let me check your vitals. Let me just stick this thermometer in your mouth. And, and check your blood pressure real fast. Like, all right, so I'd take a nap, you know, then they come back, oh, let's take some more blood again. Oh, okay, dude, oh, oh, dang, you got enough yet? I sat in for panels and I had meetings and I listened to all kinds of stories and people cried and it was, you know, there were heroin addicts and there were meth addicts and there were people, you know, can, having a really hard time coming off the, the, the whatever the hell they were on, but, you basically lived there for a week and there was some funny stuff that happened and I, ca I can't say too much about it because you know there, there's privacy issues there but one thing I will say and we'll talk about right now is the food I don't know what the problem is the, the breakfast was great the breakfast was amazing like bacon eggs French toast little breakfast potatoes the breakfast was stellar but for some reason, anytime you ordered a pizza, like for lunch or dinner or something, there was a problem. And I love pizza, so this was kind of like, this like turned into comedy for me. I, I didn't get pissed, it was just like, alright, what's well, going to be the issue with the pizza this time? So, 
they give you these little menus, you know, you get to fill them out. That's dinner. Well, for dinner this night I had meatloaf. It was good. Alright, let's check this out. So this day I had, you know, I had an orange juice, I had scrambled eggs, bacon, and a bagel with cream cheese. Solid breakfast, that's legit. Alright, we'll get this. This one particular day, I ordered a pizza. I don't know why, I ordered mashed potatoes on the side. Kind of weird, I don't know, I was feeling it. I ordered a, uh, a lemon bar, a little like dessert, you know. And the weirdest thing happened. When the food shows up, like the main course, like if it's a pizza, it's in like a little thing and it has like a plastic cover. So you pull the cover off and you're like, like there's your main course. Well, there was no pizza. It was just a white clean plate. And then I had these like little, I had little teeny mashed potatoes on the side. And then I had this lemon bar and I was like, dude, what, what is this? So yeah, that was kind of like unbelievable. Uh, there was another time too that I ordered a, uh, I ordered a pepperoni pizza for lunch. And for some weird reason, I lift the cap, I'm like, all right, here's gonna be the pizza. No, there wasn't, there was chicken curry. No! No! And there's nothing in the world that I can't stand more than curry. I was hungry that day, what can you do? I don't know, I don't know what the problem was with that. Overall, the food was pretty good though, like, you know, for a medical detox, that was pretty rad. I, I dug it. That was, that was really nice. So yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much where I've been this week. I will be going to rehab next week, and I'm going to bring you guys with me. It's going to be funny. I'm sure there's going to be some funny stuff that goes down. I'm, I'm not going to, like, share any crazy stories anyone shares, because some of this stuff, it's really sensitive, you know? Like, somebody, you know... High as hell on on meth and kills their kid and flees the police or something. I'm not gonna share any crazy shit like that, even though there is that necessarily did not happen. But there are some stories like that that will blow your mind, and you're like, dude, I'm just here because I abused alcohol. Like, what the fuck? But uh, yeah, I got some cool phone numbers and met some really cool people at the detox, and that was rad. Yeah, so I did a medical detox, and I'm, I'm not proud of it. It wasn't fun, but it was something I think needed to be done. And there seems to be a theme with these videos the last couple months is moving forward. And becoming sober is something I need to do to move forward. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. Normally, I'd be wasted right now, but right now... I'm sober. Let's go take the Jeep for a cruise. Nah, I'm just gonna stay here. Just kidding, we're gonna take the Jeep for a cruise, let's go. Windshield's so fucking dirty. Can't see it. No mail since I've been away, but that's okay. Is it recording? 
I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Why does this focus suck so much? Is it recording? Yeah, I think it's recording.